Are you looking for a fun interactive card for any occasion? I'm Inger Blackburn and in this step-by-step -step tutorial I'm going to share with you lots of tips on how you can create the perfect waterfall card and what one mistake you want to be sure to avoid. This video is part of the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop and I have lots of details in the section below. And look at this list of sponsors. I mean this is a really cool list. I'm also sponsoring a prize and I have more on that in a little bit. Why don't we dive right in? So I've got four little pieces here. Now you could use paper, you could use photos, you can use whatever you have. I use some leftover gel prints that I had and I added some words to that with some matte medium. And I'm just gonna create a really cool waterfall card for an artsy friend of mine. I wanna make sure to adhere those to the mats which are going to make up part of the waterfall mechanism. So you can see here, I'm just have a very, very slight edge here. You can use anything, just have an even border around the edge. I've got some dimensions right here. It can be uh, in centimeters or inches, doesn't matter because I'm gonna teach you the secret to how to create the perfect waterfall card. So to get the exact dimensions that you need, you need to just measure your bottom piece and you need to go with the height. So in my case, it's two and three eighths inch high. That's the size of the mat. So I'm gonna start off with that. You saw that I drew a line across and now I'm gonna measure half an inch three times for each additional piece. Now, if you're working in centimeters, here's really the trick with this. However far apart you want your four pieces of the waterfall to be, that's how high your measurement's gonna be. So it doesn't matter whether you're doing it in inches or you're doing it in centimeters, that's the only thing that you really need to figure out. So once you've got that down, you're gonna make your marks to the left and right side you're gonna draw, connect your two pieces on the right and left side to draw a line across matching your bottom line. And this tells you exactly where to mat each of your four pieces to form your waterfall. So now that we have all of our marks, we need to fold this. Now there's a couple of very easy ways of doing this. You can just use a ruler and to help you create a crease. Now I'm using cardstock, so it's a little harder rather than just regular copy paper to easily make a straight crease. You wanna make sure the left and right side kind of line up. It's very easy to get that folded kind of in a wonky way and you don't want that because you want your waterfall to be straight. I use a bone folder to help me get a really nice crease. You can also use some sort of a scoreboard and to create those, just use your pencil marks and then just create nice creases. The key is you wanna always make a peak. You don't wanna fold in a valley form. So each time you're folding the same way and then using a bone folder to help you make an even better crease. Now it's time to create your pull mechanism. You need twice the height of your base plus those three creases and then I added a half of an inch. To get the perfect mitered edges, you can see I snipped one side, used that same piece, just reversed it to the other side, and then I'm gonna use my pencil to make a mark and then just cut it away. And that way I have an absolutely perfect looking pull mechanism. Now it's time to put the waterfall together. So I'm gonna take my bottom piece and this is really crucial. It's important that you recognize that you're working from the bottom to the top. So on that bottom piece, that's the same size as my actual piece, just at the very top, I'm gonna add some very strong adhesive. I'm using iCraft Mixed Media Glue. You can also use tape. I wouldn't really use a glue stick because it has a tendency to come apart very easily. And you have to remember this is kind of like a 3D card. You have a lot of things being pulled and you wanna make sure that that stays secure. Now you can see another key point is to make sure that it is even. So I'm folding it, I'm making sure the right and left are not wonky. You know, those are little tiny tips that you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to. Then you're going to add a little bit more glue in that other space above. This is the first section where in between your folds and you're gonna take the next piece. Keep in mind, you wanna make sure that you're going in order. It's very easy to adhere the wrong ones. And if you're using pictures, you may have a particular 
you know, direction that you're headed with your photos. So very, very important to make sure you have that laid out ahead of time. So I'm gonna jump ahead here and kind of speed this up since you've already seen me do it a few times. Just wanted to take a moment and let you know that I do have a prize for this hop and be sure in the comment section below to tell me whether you are in the United States, or you are international and actually on all the videos, we have over 50 prizes in this hop. It's really a phenomenal hop. And look at that. Isn't that waterfall pretty cool? I just kind of showed it to you. Now here it is as well. You know, this is, you could leave it like this, but we're gonna actually take it to another level and attach it to a card. So definitely stay tuned because that one thing that I was telling you that you wanna be sure to avoid is still coming up. Now to attach this piece to your card base, I've got a long scrap of piece of paper, which is at three and a quarters of an inch wide. You can see here I'm putting it in between the base of the waterfall mechanism and my final piece. That is really crucial that it's laying in between those. Then I'm going to actually close the waterfall mechanism. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna fold that on both sides using a bone folder. And if you don't have a bone folder, you can use anything. You could use a block, you could use your fingers, you could use anything that has a hard edge just to kind of help you get a more solid crease. I'm snipping off the excess there. And I just, they, it's not important that those actually meet. I was just trying to get them as close as possible just so I have a really sturdy foundation. You don't want that part to be too small because that's what's going to actually attach your entire waterfall to the actual card base. So it, it's not necessary that it's wider than three quarters of an inch, um, or I believe I have two centimeters written down. You can see here kind of where that's tucked in. I just wanted to kind of give you a different perspective there just so that you have a good understanding of where that actually goes. So we're gonna add some adhesive just to this one side, and this is going to attach this little three quarter of an inch strip to the waterfall mechanism base, not my piece that I created, so not the gel print, to the actual base itself. Now remember, I'm using a strong adhesive, very crucial here. And then once that has had a chance to dry, I actually like to use a bone folder just to kind of help make sure that glue kind of gets everywhere it needs to be. I'm gonna fold those two pieces back over like you're seeing here. I got a little bit of extra adhesive using one of those, you know, powder bags or a de-static tool to get rid of that because I don't want anything sticking. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and fold that over. And then here's what we're gonna do. We're going to actually tuck that piece in. This is really crucial that that is in there because that's what you're gonna pull. And we're gonna add adhesive only to the outside, not the inside. Then we're gonna flip the entire piece over, as you're gonna see right here, and attach it to your card base. Pretty cool, right? Now I do have a tip on what not to do. I have a second waterfall card coming up really shortly here. You're not gonna see the whole thing, just the finished product, but I'm gonna show you where I made a big mistake. And this is where I want you to make sure to not do this one thing. So you're just gonna, I actually used a Posca a paint pen just to write on my dark cardstock. Now here, I just wanna show you what it looks like once it's all dried. Look at that cool waterfall, love it. Now can you imagine if you had photos there doing this for a holiday card or a birthday? It's great for any occasion. Love these cards. The first time I made one of these, I think it was in 2002. These cards have been around a while. Added a little something to the middle. Now here is the happy birthday card that I made. I used some Catherine Pooler pattern paper and a happy birthday builder set by Alta New. Everything's linked below. And you can see how that waterfall mechanism stops. Now I want you to notice that my strip is about two thirds of the way in versus this one right here where I attached it towards the bottom. See how it's almost flush to the bottom? That's that one secret ingredient because otherwise it, the waterfall doesn't fully come all the way in. Now that doesn't mean that it doesn't work, but it might as well be correct, right? Now, if you wanna see more, be sure to click that video that you see right there on your screen, as well as subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to hop along on the hop. Be sure to leave comments along the way to be entered for prizes, as well as mine in the comment section below. See you in the next video, bye.